Democrats must unite around focusing on passing the climate agenda that President Biden has proposed, no matter what that takes, no matter what it re requires to be split off of the big Build Back Better bill. That's my view. President Biden is now open to splitting the major domestic policy agenda into separate climate and social safety net bills, despite the wishes of many progressive groups. I want to see what two lawmakers who would have have to make that legislation a reality think of this strategy. Senator Ed Markey, a Democrat of Massachusetts who sits on the Environment and Public Works Committee, and Congressman Ro Khanna, a Democrat of California who chairs the Oversight and Environmental Subcommittee, and both join me now. Um, Senator Markey, do you think, do you agree that climate should be prioritized above everything else and you do whatever you can to salvage that portion of this legislation? I agree with Joe Biden. Uh, we should prioritize climate. Uh, it's largely been negotiated. The financing is there. Uh, and we should use it as the foundation. And then uh, if we can get the 50 votes on any other uh, family protection provisions uh, in the Build Back Better bill, we should add that in as well. But climate should be the foundation. Uh, and then uh, it's absolutely imperative that we set a deadline, that we use the uh, the State of the Union address on March 1st as the deadline to get yep. it done. Um, we should bring a bill out in February onto the floor of the United States Senate. Uh, the time for talking is over. It's now a time for action. Uh, the time for negotiation is over. It's now time to reach an agreement. And so from my perspective, climate has to be the foundation. Uh, it's the healthcare, environmental, economic, national security, and moral issue of our time. Uh, and we cannot miss this historic moment. Uh, we can reach an agreement on that issue. Joe Manchin said it's the easiest area for him to reach an agreement. Yep. We should take him at his word, reach that agreement, and add in whatever else we can get on the social issues. Yeah, we should note that the climate, just to, in case people think this is wishful thinking, the climate portion of the bill, the $500 billion, already went through a kind of like mansion washing where a bunch of stuff that he he objected to got taken out, including things that I really support. I think both of you support the clean energy standard uh, got taken out. I think we should have it in. But you know what? You can't get a vote for it. You can't get a vote for it. Congressman Khanna, do you agree with this strategy? I do. Chris, let me just say, because I rarely am on with Senator Markey, no one has done more for the climate in the entire Senate or House than he has. But climate will be the foundation for what we come up with. It's going to be about $500 billion. As you said, Senator Manchin is on board with that. It will be the largest investment in climate that the United States government has ever made. My view is, and I have a good relationship with Senator Manchin, let's give him a chance to say what he is for. I think he's going to be for not just climate, but universal preschool. He's actually for raising taxes on some of people who are wealthy. He's for negotiating on prescription drugs. Uh, I think he can come up with something uh, that will have the consensus, uh, support of the president, support of House progressives. Uh, and we should give him that opportunity. And frankly, we should do it with respect. I mean, going and attacking him isn't going to get you the 51 votes. I couldn't agree more. I'm agreeing. We're now all agreeing with each other, which is slightly disappointing because I was all ready to argue with both of you. But but I do think I mean, I guess I guess this is everyone's gotten religion on this because I think that, look, the strategy here, Senator Markey, was we're going to outline this thing and we're going to get Manchin and Cinema to come along. And, you know, you can't invent leverage over a person that you don't have. And I just want to say for people watching this, I looked at polling from West Virginia today. Joe Biden's approval rating in West Virginia right now is 29 percent. Joe Manchin's 54 percent. Donald Trump's is like 65 percent. That's he, that's West Virginia voters. So you know, if you can get the West Virginia senator on board for half a trillion dollars in climate spending, Senator Markey, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, Henry, Wax Henry Waxman and I from California, we worked hard on a bill. We got it passed through the House in 2009. But a lot of talking, a lot of negotiation in the um, Senate, and it died. And that was 12 years ago. Uh, we've lost a lot of time. We cannot yes. lose the next 10 years. So this is our opportunity uh, to, uh, to use climate, again, as the foundation. We can do this. Uh, but... Uh, time is running out. Time yes. is our enemy. Time is the is is the friend of of uh, of the climate denial fossil fuel industry. So if we take advantage of this, and again, Ro Khan has done a great job 
uh, leading on this in the, uh, in the House of Representatives and so many other progressives. We have to take a win here. Uh, we've got an opportunity for a big, big win. And we can, and we can add in other big victories that Roe, if we do it, this will be an historic victory for Joe Biden, for the Democratic Party, and for the planet. Uh, because the Democratic Party will be looking up at this threat yeah. of, of uh, climate change, and we will be putting the solutions in place. I just want to be clear here. Like, there's very tangible modeling on all this. This isn't, I mean, look, we don't know the future. This is all, to a certain degree, it's speculative. But, but here's the drop in emissions. Business as usual, just with the infrastructure bill or with this chunk. Can we, can we put this up? Because I think, like, the, the, the 2030 goal, which is the dotted line there, the current trajectory doesn't get us there. If you can get the climate provisions and build back better, we get there. Now, again, the future is unwritten. Lord knows what happens. But, like, our best guess is that is the thing that puts us on trajectory. And I, I want to ask you this, Congressman Khanna, because I, just to go back to sort of the thesis of the last block, and I, I know you're not going to pull back the curtain too much, but I'll ask it anyway. When you look back at, at, at the ACA and health care, right, a lot of that was this was unfinished business of the Democratic Party because the last time there was a Democratic president with the Democratic House and Democratic Senate, it died, right? Clinton care didn't happen. An enormous setback. It was the dream of Harry Truman on forward through Democratic presidents to, to get some sort of health care. Waxman Markey, named after the senator on your screen right there with Henry Waxman, was the big unfinished business of domestic policy of the Obama administration. Dodd-Frank passed, the ACA passed, Waxman Markey dies in the Senate. My question, Congressman Khanna, is why wasn't climate, why wasn't it that thing that health care was back in 09 this time around? It was part of an economic message. I think part of it was... Donald Trump had just won. All these folks we met had economic anxiety. Jobs had gone yep. offshore. President Biden came and said, I've got to rebuild America. Yep. And part of that was uh, the Green New Deal or climate uh, new uh, policies. But it was one piece of the puzzle. But I agree with you. It's the most important piece because we it's irreversible. I mean, who knows right. when we'll have this moment again? And I actually don't think it's that complicated. If you give Senator Manchin the pen, I know some progressives don't like me saying this, but just... Give him the pen. Let him come up with something. I think he's going to come up with something that is going to be extraordinarily uh, much better than nothing on climate. And I think we can get consensus uh, on that. And he will look good in history. Senator Markey, of course, already has a place in history. And Joe Biden will look good in history and will do something for the planet. Is that the feeling in the, in the caucus, Senator Markey, do you think, on your side? I think once President Biden spoke and said that he wants to move on climate and then add in these other large chunks of policy that are critical to the well-being of American families, I think that our caucus will be moving in that direction. And if we don't, on climate, we miss, one, the ability to create millions of new union jobs yep. in clean energy, two, uh, the ability to rectify the environmental justice to those most adversely impacted, mostly poor people. And third, uh, we miss the opportunity to dramatically reduce greenhouse gases. Yep. So right. I think our caucus will move in that direction. And I, I'm glad that President Biden is giving us the leadership. Once again, we've solved all the world's problems here in the final segment. All in. Thank you both, Senator Ed Markey, Congressman Rokana. That was great.